Oh, hello there. Well, if you guys just seen, I just finished another episode of the morning segment where I talked about Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1. What am I here to talk about this time? Well, I want you to know that in all the times to come, with my hand wrapped around your throat, I want you to remember the one guy that beat you. Yes, I am here to talk about the Comic-Con release trailer for Batman Superman Dawn of Justice. Now, I talked with one of my friends yesterday and how this movie could work really, really good, but it could also work really, really bad. And here's, here's what I mean. We have Superman and Batman. You know, we have Ben Affleck as Bruce Wayne and Batman. We have the guy from the first Man of Steel movie coming back to play Superman. And he is awesome as Superman. And I really think Ben Affleck is going to be a great Bruce Wayne and a great Batman. Um, but they're throwing in all these random characters. Now, I know what a lot of people are probably going to say, well, in the comics, when Superman and Batman have a conversation, they bring up a lot of people's names. Yes, they do. But they don't show them. They're only mentioned. They talk about how they're the only two left. How Jordan left the planet, Diana, Wonder Woman, who, let, who went back to her people, and... Oliver Queen, Superman had to take care of him. And that's one that's one thing I also don't get. Why isn't Green Arrow going to be in this film? I mean, we have we have Cyborg, we have I think we have Martian Manhunter. We have Shazam. And I know that we have Wonder Woman. And you know, I'm just afraid that this might turn out like Spider-Man 3. And I know I pick on Spider-Man 3 a lot, but just just hear me out. In Spider-Man 3, we got Eddie Brock. We got Gwen Stacy. We got Captain Stacy. And that's it. What we don't want is just Wonder Woman. We don't just want Martian Manhunter, if he's going to be in the film. We don't just want Cyborg. And we don't just want Shazam. We want these characters done right. And... I mean, I have really high hopes from this movie. I really, really do. And I'm just afraid that they're shoving all these characters in so much. I'm afraid that it's going to be more plot. Like like The Amazing Spider-Man 2. I'm afraid that it's going to be more plot than story. You know, and with Iron Man 2. How Iron Man 2... And, you know, Film Master Adam um, really hit a, put a number on this. He hates Iron Man 2, and I didn't understand why, but now I do. Because after watching The Amazing Spider-Man 2, I don't hate that film. I like it, but the first one is better. But my point is, with Iron Man 2 and Spider-Man 2, they're, they're more of a build-up to movies it, it, for other movies. Instead of it being an actual story itself. Now, yes, the first Amazing Spider-Man was built up for The Amazing Spider-Man 2. But it did not hint at a Sinister Six or The Avengers. And Iron Man 2 and The Amazing Spider-Man 2, they feel like they're just movies to build up for the for the, a, a big, big event coming up. And so that's what I am hoping that they do not do with Batman Superman Dawn of Justice. I hope that they are not just going to have, okay, yeah, we're going to have these two in this movie, but it's really going to be just a build-up to the Justice League. We are going to be getting a Justice League film, I know, but I don't want this film to be just a build-up to that. This film needs to have its own story. It doesn't need to, you know, be cluster clustered with, all, with the Justice League story. Yes, they are building to a Justice League movie, but this needs to be its own thing. It does not need to be building up to the Justice League. I mean, it does, but it needs to be doing it equally. It doesn't need to overshadow like how Iron Man 2 and Spider-Man 2 did with overshadowing their stories. And that's just the only thing I have a that's the only thing I'm really worried about. But the trailer, now I don't know if I will be able to actually put this in the comments below in the description box because it's, I don't know, I might be able to, I'll try. Um, it shows um, Ben Affleck in the Batman armored suit. Now, 
Batman used this suit in the graphic novel The Dark Knight Returns because it was the only way to go one-on-one -on -one with Superman. He wore this armor, beat the living crap out of Superman, even after Superman broke three ribs. Because, you know, Batman's awesome, and Superman's still awesome, but... Um... And he's got wide eyes. And now in the Batman cartoon, Batman always had wide eyes. And I feel like they're finally giving us that. I mean, I know it's, I don't know, it's kind of silly. It's not really silly, but that's just something Batman's always had is the wide eyes. So maybe they're finally giving us that. And it's only going to be in the armor Batman suit. But Ben Affleck looks awesome in this suit. He really does. So what it is, is Ben Affleck is standing in the rain. And there's this drum beat music. And he pulls uh, something off and then he pulls a lever down and some sparks fly and it's the bat signal and in the bat signal all of a sudden you see superman in the middle of it and his eyes glow red and then that's the that's the that's it for the trailer and it's a really big teaser and i really want the real trailer to come out but it won't come out till like next year or another two years i want the trailer out i want the trailer out now i want the movie out now <laughs> Um, but I think that this is going to be a good film, but I, but you know, I do, I am a little bit worried about it. So, you know, comment in the, in the, in the box below, tell me what do you guys think? Do you think that this movie is going to do equally fine or do you, or you guys have the same fears that I do that it might be overshadowed by the Justice League thing? Comment below and let me know and stay tuned for when I will be doing my review soon of possibly Lucy and my review of Hercules. My, my reviews for this month. Hercules, Lucy, Guardians of the Galaxy, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Have a good day, guys.